Today we're going to Jiaoxi, which is the hot spring area of eastern Taiwan. And in Jiaoxi, there is public hot spring parks, private hot spring parks, and private hot spring rooms. Today we're going to the private hot spring parks where you pay for entry. Yay! To bring this ticket to the counter over there. So we got to Art Hotel Hot Spring. In the front, you have to buy tickets just for the spa alone. You hand it to the spa lady and she grants you access. You can buy a bunch of miscellaneous stuff like these hats that you these hats that you, you need to wear these and some towels and they have swimsuits and swim trunks and underwear and drinks and like everything so you can buy it over there it's relatively cheap we got two hats and a towel for 300 so that's math it's right here and then they have separate shower rooms obviously for women and men we'll show you around voila let's go Voila! We're here in the hot springs. We're in the back side of the hot springs. We're gonna start from the back and show you the front. There are a lot of bubble massaging places. Actually, the whole park is filled with them. And there's small signs that show you usually what it is, except for this one and this one, which is, I, I don't know what they are. If you can see, there's like jets on the bottom where you sit down. So I'm not sure if it's supposed to massage your butt. This one over here is pretty cool. This is a bubble seat. Voila! So you can just sit down and relax here. Bunch of different pools that will show you. Let's go! These ones over here, you press the button and they spray really strong water onto your back or wherever you're pointing yourself to the spray. And there's different kinds of knobs too. This one looks the strongest. This one looks like a shower. Let me show you what it looks like. Something lower body, you know. Oh my, I don't think I can do it. Feels like my body is just like frozen, like ice age frozen. So on the front side of the spa, there's this elevated platform with a bunch of different pools and different temperatures. So we're starting here, 16 degrees, which is the coldest, and then we're gonna jump to all the other ones. There's some cool ones over there, like kumquat water. <laughs> this is the next coldest one not as cold, it's 27 degrees, but it feels like a hot tub after the previous one. It's nice, no one's here too. I understand why they made this one bigger than that one, because no one's gonna go in that one. <laughs> I'm in the, what the It's 14 degrees now, it's not 16 anymore. I'm in the 14 degrees Celsius pool, which is very, very cold. And my husband challenged me to go from 14 degree to the 43 degree Celsius pool, which will burn your skin off and I challenge you to do it if I can do it. <laughs> I feel like my skin is burning off right now. Am I melting? I'm Tang Yun, the little sassy. <laughs> This is the 
indoor area. It looks like a, just a huge pool with different smaller areas where you can lounge. There's a jacuzzi, private one, and there's other spots where you can relax. There's also a wood floor with a waterfall where you lay on it and it massages your back. So let's go try it out. It's not bad actually. There's like a, a button right here. I think bubbles come up from somewhere. like the, the bath of doom. <laughs> so you have to walk through the spikes going like this. As you can see, it's like a big pool with torture contraptions. That's why the old people here are so healthy. Because they've been through a lot of torture, you know. Having fun. On the inside of the spa, there's a cave where there's a foot bath. There's also the stone flooring where you can lay down and rest. And behind it, there's saunas and steam rooms. Looks like a very relaxing place. I'm trying to keep my voice down. Well folks, it's been a couple of hours since we started playing in the hot spring park. <laughs> I can say for sure that I'm very relaxed, but I'm gonna try to recuperate, eat something, and go another round. This is Rose. What's your favorite so far? So there's grape, rose, kumquat, me too. And peach is the hottest one. Why would they make peach the hottest one? So we were looking for food. Hopefully they have some food around here. But the only thing they had was biscuits and ramen. That's exactly what she said though. She said, we have bingan and ramen. Bingan is like biscuits, right? Our biscuits. It's oyster, egg pancake flavored potato chips and our spicy beef noodles. It's called owajian, owajian biscuit. Art Hotel Hot Spring has the biggest water slide in the Hot Spring Hotel area and they only open during certain hours, like one hour in the morning and two hours in the evening, something like that. And it's about to open in like four more minutes, so we have to go line up. We'll be the first ones on the slide <laughs> and I'm excited. <laughs> but there's people just standing there watching and I've seen it's only children going <laughs> Thank you. 
the side was so fun. You have to walk up like five flights of stairs and then you get to the top and you see like the whole bottom of Jashi. And then, and then the girl whistles or something and you have to go down and you pencil it like this. And it goes actually pretty fast if you know, if you know what you're doing. And then you get to the bottom and you hit water and you go whoosh. And the lifeguard just stands there and watches you. <laughs> but it was fun. <laughs> so we've been here for about six to seven hours. We got here a little bit before noon and we played in the water and we played in the slide. Safe to say for 15 bucks USD, it's well worth it. Well worth it. That's for, two. for two people, 15 bucks. That's about, what was it? What did I, 500 Taiwan dollars. And now it's nighttime, it's starting to pour. The lights are turned on and it has a different vibe. Now it's more uh, relaxation, you know, onsen. But there's a lot more people at night. But Art Hotel, convenience, 10 out of 10, close to the station, stock 0.5 because they had only ramen and biscuits. <laughs> but overall, great experience. Voila! We are here at our second hot spring hotel. It's about two minutes away from the station. It looks a bit more modern and bigger, but we're gonna show you how the spa compares to the other one. Let's go! Maybe I only need like bottoms. Voila, we are inside the hot spring area and just by comparison it looks a lot bigger and a lot more pools. There's a bubblegum pool and a wine pool that we just saw. Um, and then there's a whole other side over there that we haven't even checked out yet. But we're going to walk around and show you guys around and hopefully we don't get kicked out. So we're in the back of the hot spring. You can see behind me that there is a big hot spring pool, which is like 40 something degrees. And the next one is a little bit cooler. And then there's a cold punch. Um, and right now we have our feet in some kind of hot spring too. So everywhere there's like little pools and little lounge areas. There's no food here, no cafeteria, but uh, there's seven across the street so you can get food. And it seems like a lot of people pack food and pack a lot of stuff and they bring it here and they spend the whole entire day here. So there are a ton of different themed pools. And on the other side, there's milk, coffee, and a bunch of other flavors. And basically whatever ailments you have, you just go into the pool and you soak. And all the older people here swear by it. And what we've been doing is going into the really hot one, 42 degrees, and then going into the cold one. Compared to the other hot spring, it's bigger but also more open, not as privacy, you know? So you, you can see what everyone's doing at all times. Preference. It's really, really hot. This is one of the pools. It's 42.6 degrees. This is the hottest one they have. The one next to me is 40.5. It's supposed to be very good for your skin and very good for your muscles. There's an, an open area just like other hot spring where it's just a big pool with different kinds of sodges and bubbles everywhere. But instead of being in an enclosed space, this one's out in the open. Still though, it has more amenities. There's also a kids playing area. The last one wasn't as big, this one's a little bit bigger and it has that bucket that fills up and then comes down and then pours the little kids and then they all fall down, they topple like domino. <laughs> this is the one that all the grandpas and grandmas like to go into the most. I don't know what it is. Someone please translate it for me. But it has this very sulfuric smell to it. It smells like dirty feet, almost. Behind me, there's a big fly in the kids' playing area. Obviously, it's hot because there's so many fish around. 
And I've been shooting kids with a water gun. It's so fun. walking towards the face steaming place. <laughs> this is what you do. You open this and steam comes out and you gotta put your face in it. And it basically opens up your pores. It's, it's pretty hot and it's good for your face. And behind me there's marble flooring that's heated so you can rest and you put a towel on your face and you just knock out. It's like the other one, but uh, I feel like the other one had a little bit more privacy so it's quieter. This area does seem a bit bigger though. We're in another one of the pools. This one looks like a lime green. Not a lot of people are in here, but there's a lot of people around me. <laughs> Right now in the wine bath, it's supposed to be a red wine spring and it's very red and it smells exactly like wine. So it's like you're bathing in expensive red wine, you know. And you can see all these bottles behind me. I don't think they use these bottles, but you get the idea. I'm just kidding. <laughs> can you imagine? <laughs> It's bubblegum spring and it smells like bubblegum. It tastes like bubblegum. It looks like bubblegum. It's like those um, circular old school bubblegums that come like this and you keep chewing on them. That's exactly how it smells. It's good for your skin, you know. <laughs> this one is like a Windex colored soup, huh? Smells like Windex, it has to be. <laughs> But this one is a really big one. You can tell what the temperature of the soup is by card right here. Getting hangry. So it's been a full day of hot springs. Compared to the last one, this one seems much bigger. There's a bigger playground for kids, more themed hot springs. But for some reason, I like the other one better. I think maybe because it seemed more private. For this one, I rate it a 10 for convenience because it's very, very close to the station. 9.5 for variety and maybe a 7.9 for experience. Done. Extra point for this mascot. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Ah! Oh.